G'day Internet, my name is Teramon and this is the Place Value Petitioning Strategy for Edition. That's quite a mouthful to say, so to make things easier, let's just call it PVP. Before we can go through the strategy, let's recap on some place value facts. Looking at the number 678, what would you say is the value of 6? You might be inclined to say, well, it's 6, but that's wrong. Since 6 is in the 100s place, it's actually 600. Now, what would you say is the value of 7? 7 is in the tens place, so it represents 70. And finally, the 8 is in the ones place, so it just represents 8. Now that we've covered the basics, let's jump into the PVP strategy. When you use the PVP strategy, the first thing you have to do is break up the number into its place value parts. So if we break 678 into its place value parts, you have 600 in the 100s column, 70 in the tens column, and 8 in the ones column. The next step is to break the second number down into its place value parts. And you have to add the 100s with the 100s, the tens with the tens, and the ones with the ones. Let's do that now. To break 321 into its place value parts, First, we look at the hundreds. We can see that the digit 3 is in the hundreds column. That represents 300. Next, there is a 2 in the tens column, and that represents 20. And if there's a 1 in the ones column, that is 1. So finally, we have to add the hundreds with the hundreds, the tens with the tens, and the ones with the ones. What's 600 plus 300? You get 900. 70 plus 20? equals 90, the 8 plus 1 equals 9. The final step is to recombine these place value parts. Let's do that now. 900 plus 90 plus 9. Well, 900 plus 90 is 990, and then 990 plus 9 just gives us 999. Done! Now, for another example, we have 658 plus 605. Step 1 is to break 658 into its place value parts. So we have 6 in the hundreds column. That represents 600. We have 5 in the tens column. That represents 50. And we have 8 in the ones column. That's just 8. Step 2. You break the second number down into its place value parts and then you add the hundreds with the hundreds the tens with the tens, and the ones with the ones. So, 600 plus 600. Then we have, oh, you can see that there are no tens in the tens column in this number. So it's going to be 50 plus 0. In the ones column, we have 5. So it's 8 plus 5. Next, we add these numbers together. So we have 600 plus 600 which equals 1200. Next we have 50 plus 0 which is 50 and 8 plus 5 which equals 13. Remember the third and final step is to recombine these place value parts together. So we add 1200 with 50 plus 13. Well 1,200 plus 50 gives you 1,250 plus 13 equals 1,263. There you have it. To really understand this strategy, you have to do it for yourself. Make sure you do the exercises linked in the description, and I'll see you next time.